here x sells goods to y for on 1st january 2012 and the last line tells us here we are to make journal entries to record these transactions in the books of x but we have passed journal entries in the books of both the parties and at for your better understanding hence in the journal in the books of x and journal in the books of y we have to draw the journal format in the books of x and that of y and uh, the year is 2012 x sells goods for, for rupees 40000 to y on 1st january 2012 hence the first entry will be in the books of x y debited to sales account y sold goods to x sold goods to y hence on january 1 2012 in the books of x y debited to sales account 40000 each being goods sold on credit if x is selling on credit then y is buying on credit hence in the books of y it is purchases account debited to x on the same day purchases account debited to x being purchased goods on credit then next line is and on the same day draws a bill on y at 3 months for the amount Y draws a bill on X. Hence, it is bills received. It is X debited to bills payable account. Y gives same day. Y gives the bill to X. X debited to bills payable account rupees forty thousand, being the acceptance given to X. If Y gave the acceptance, then X received the acceptance in the books of X. It is on the same day. It is bills received account debited to Y. Being the acceptance of Y received rupees forty thousand each. Y accepted it and returns it to X, who discounts it on fourth January two thousand twelve with his bank at six percent per annum. X discounted the bill in with his bankers at six percent per annum on January fourth. Hence, three months discount will be taken into consideration. In this case, in the books of X, it is. Bank account debited, discount account debited to bills receivable account. On January four, bank account debited three nine four double zero. Discount account debited rupees six hundred to bills receivable account forty thousand. Being the acceptance of Y, discounted at a bank. In the same day, and in the books of Y, there will be no entry because it was discounted at a six percent interest for six. Six percent rate for three months, and the the acceptance is dishonored on the due date, and the noting charges were paid by bank two hundred. This was dishonored on the due date, and noting charges paid by bank two hundred. Hence, the note dishonor entry will be done in the books of Y first, April four. It is bills payable account debited rupees forty thousand. Noting charges account debited rupees two hundred to X rupees forty thousand two hundred. Being the acceptance given to X, dishonored and noting charges paid by the bank. And on same day on April four, the entry will be Y debited to bank. Y debited to bank account. It is being the acceptance of Y. Discounted at bank and dishonored, and noting charges paid by bank. Here I made the mistake in writing the amount. It will be forty thousand two hundred. Hence we rectified this. It is forty thousand two hundred, being the acceptance of Y discounted at bank, dishonored, noting charges paid by bank. The next one is interest charge. It is written that in the next passage paragraph on fourth April two thousand twelve. Y Accepts a new bill for three months for the amount then due to X together with interest at the rate of twelve percent per annum. Hence, interest due in the books of Y it is it is X interest account debit to X on April four. It is interest account debited to X being interest due to X is for example rupees forty thousand two hundred at the rate of twelve percent for. Three months. It is three upon twelve. That is equal to rupees one two zero six. It is interest account debited to X. 
and on the same day in the books of x it is y debited to interest on the amount is same rupees 1206 and it is on this amount is calculated at the rate of 12 percent for the renewal period of 3 months and this included total amount due including noting charges. Then y gave a new bill new acceptance to x hence in the books of x and the in the books of y on the same day it is x debited to bills payable account x debited to bills payable account being the renewed acceptance given to x the amount will be rupees 40200 plus rupees 1206 that is rupees 41406 in the books of uh, x on April 4 it is it is bills receivable account debited to y April 4 it is bills receivable account debited to y being the renewed acceptance of y received it is rupees 41406 and the total of journals both the sides is rupees 2,2612 both debit and credit columns and this is the final hence in the books of y the total will be rupees 162812 both the columns final answer